What is the GMO? Scientists have discovered that by artificially manipulating the DNA of natural food, they can create a killer tomato. There are numerous intended purposes for modifying the genetics of food, one of which is to breed fruits and vegetables that produce their own internal insecticides. The concerns are obvious. If the food kills bugs, what does it do to us? Proposition 37 requires manufacturers of food containing GMOs to add a few extra words to their content label. Europe, where GMO foods require labeling, the cost to consumer has increased less than two-tenths of one percent. Cases of autism, bowel-related syndromes, and food allergies have skyrocketed since GMOs were quietly introduced into our food system in the mid-1990s. The U.S. military sprayed an herbicide known as Agent Orange over the jungles of Vietnam after its manufacturers declared it tested and safe. It was later determined that numerous people, including American veterans, were killed or maimed and countless children were born with birth defects. The same chemical company who manufactured Agent Orange is currently leading the production of GMOs and spending millions of dollars to campaign against labeling. It may be years before we know the long-term effects of genetically modified foods. Until then, we are simply asking for companies to label their packages and give us a choice to opt in or opt out of this science experiment. Already over 50 countries have successfully implemented GMO labeling. The U.S. remains one of the only industrialized nations yet to get with it. While we may not have the financial backing of the corporations, what we do have is the power of the people. 93% of Democrats, 89% of Republicans, and 90% of everyone else is standing together for our right to know what's in our food. If you feel you have the right to know what's in your food, here's what to do. Share this video. Share these facts. Vote yes on California Proposition 37. Let's get with it.